my name is Caitlin Maharg and welcome to my channel. So right now is a very exciting time. It is 7 p.m. on November 12th and Taylor Swift is um, about to release her short film to the song All Too Well, which is one of my favorite songs of hers ever. I've been obsessed with this song for eight years, ever since it came out. And I actually did a reaction to this song before um, from the perspective of a narcissistic abuse survivor, which I am, but this reaction is going to be different. Not about narcissism. I just am so excited to see this short film because this song, it just, it's powerful. It's beautiful. It takes you on a journey. And now the song is five minutes longer than what it was on her Red album. We got the five minute version on the Red album, the original Red album. Now on the new album, we're getting the full 10 minute version. So it's exciting. We got 15 seconds till it starts. I did listen to the song earlier, um, but yeah, let's, let's start. I oh, don't wanna miss it. I'm already feeling the emotions working, working its way up to coming out of here. This is the new part.
so pissed off. I'm not pissed off. I said I was pissed off. Because you're acting pissed off. Just ridiculous. These are my friends. They were super fucking nice to you, too. No, I liked your friends. I never said I didn't like your friends. Why I didn't like the way that you acted around them. You were being weird and quiet the entire time. I was not being weird because you were just looking at me. You could ask me one thing the entire night. That's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. You dropped my fucking hand. What am I supposed to do with that? I didn't even fucking notice. What are you talking about? I don't about? know I any hand. of these people. They're all strangers. They're all older than me. But like, what are you talking about? I feel so out of place. You're the only one the that makes sense about you. Like, look I'm, at me. I'm catching up with friends. You're literally saying I dropped your hand. Like, what? I don't even know, remember the moment that you're talking about. How can you be like attacking me about something I don't even like fucking know? I was mm -hmm. doing it subconsciously. I was catching up don't with do, people. You're making me feel fucking stupid. Over. It's insane. It's fucking crazy. These are people I haven't seen in like 10 years. And you just sit there. Just, oh, it was fun. I actually had a fucking blast. Mm -hmm. Now, now this is the night. Now we're doing this. Awesome. So fucking awesome. You just treated me differently. What do you mean I treated you differently? You didn't even look at me once. What are you, you talking about? Oh, you didn't look at me. Oh, no, I'm catching up with my friends. Oh, trust me, they were enthralled by you. Of course. Of course. I'm sorry. You're making you're
here. Goodness. Well, that that uh, did not disappoint. <laughs> that was beautiful. I just feel like I need to watch the credits. All right. 
just to pay the respect. And let me do a makeup check. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. All right. <laughs> All right, I should have worn waterproof makeup, obviously, and I don't have a tissue, so. All right. Okay, so this song was was lovely, um, and oh God, it's heartbreaking. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it, it's heartbreaking and you know, I felt it, like, I, I feel like it was perfectly done, like, I remember even listening to this song, and, um, and thinking that I should make a video, because I put myself in that situation, I remember, like, being in a relationship similar to this, and, um, just feeling the exact same emotions as her, and, it's just so beautiful because you see these two people in the highest stages of their love and um and it's beautiful you see the fall colors and it's fall now so it's perfect um but then you see the glimpses of like it deteriorating and by looking at it like watching this video like I mean, it doesn't seem like it was necessarily her fault, and it was like, I mean, maybe there's incompatibility issues. Only, um, I mean, I hear that this song is about her and Jake Gyllenhaal, only they know what they went through, but it almost seems like this man was like, uh, maybe like a fearful avoidance, like, um, yeah, like he had beautiful love right in front of him, but he would make excuses to push that love away, you know, c commenting on their age difference and um, even her feeling like, you know, he obviously at the party did not treat, um, did kind of ignore her. And then she confronts him about it. And instead of just saying, oh, sorry, baby, like, I didn't mean to do this, like, it turns into a whole thing, you know, I, I relationships aren't perfect. But um, I mean, this song just, it takes you, it just takes you on a journey completely. Let me, I wonder if I can pull up the, the lyrics. Uh, I, I guess I won't bother right now. Um, but the lyrics, yeah, I, it just, it was so beautiful. And, um, but yeah, I've always been in love with this song because it goes full circle. I love when a story goes full circle. It starts with the scarf and it ends with the scarf. Um, and yeah, that's lovely. And, um, you know, people come and go in your life for reasons. And um, I don't know, you kind of have that a lot of times in your younger years, like, you know, it's very hard to... I mean, it's very hard to find true love from the very first, like, major romance you have, you know? It doesn't always end up that way, and a lot of times things are just a lesson learned. Um, but, yeah, I definitely relate to this song with, like, sort of, um, you know, just falling apart after a breakup, and, like, you know what? Uh, he calls me up again just to break me like a promise, and that's deteriorating, like, um, him just calling her up just to, like, confirm what's already happened, that they're still broken up, like, it doesn't serve her, it's like, you know, he said about her being selfish, but it's him that's being more selfish, um, so, yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, you go through a situation like that, and hopefully both sides eventually grow and learn from it, you know, we don't see his side of the story necessarily. We don't know what he's feeling. We don't know his past. Um, but yeah, I mean, he definitely made some mistakes and not showing up to her birthday. Like, um, I know she has the song The Moment I Knew that um, is about that incident. Um, 
Yeah, so I really love this song. I will probably be listening to it obsessively. As always, though I obsessively listen to it already, I'll be obsessively listening to the new version, and I'll probably be watching this video a couple more times. Um, because also, I know I will cry, but there's a part of me that enjoys crying. Like, I, I love a good cry. It feels good. But um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll post more reaction videos in the future. I just, I just had to do this um, reaction today, and I thought it was beautiful. And I love how she used, um, you know, she, did, she does what Taylor does. She creates art from from her life, from her romances, and she's gotten a lot of beef about it, but tell your story. Like, I have no shame about telling my story, and neither should you guys share it. It doesn't matter if the breakup happened, and if it's about a breakup, like, it can be about whatever, but if it's about a breakup, like, it doesn't matter if it happened 10 years ago or happened, you know, 10 months ago or 10 minutes ago. Tell your story. It's your story, and there's nothing wrong with sharing it because there's always people that can relate to it. And, um, you know, it can help people. So, all right, that's it. I loved it. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>